And welcome to Talent Field for tonight's site of District 3 AA Boys Lacrosse. The matchup between the number one seeded Cacalico Eagles and the number eight seed Hershey Trojans. We are underway here. And it'll be Cole Barnes as the faceoff. Should see a lot of domination from him for Cacalico today as he is one of the premier guys in Pennsylvania. There you see the Trojans starting lineup. Keep an eye on Sampson and Grace as well as Lucas in the attack. And real quickly, a little scoop shot for the Eagles as Tate Renaud into the starting lineup gets Cacalico on the board. Not wasting any time here, Wayne. Now he pushes the ball real great left-handed, switches to his right, and just nice little shovel. I just don't think the goalie was quite ready for the shot. He was looking ahead for the pass. Didn't happen. Just There's dipped it right in. But turns it over that time. Here's a turnover for the Trojans. They're coming on net. And Ooh. shot and score. Boy. They really attacked on net there, and they tie this thing up early on. Wayne. That was the Hershey ride that time. Tyler it was a Lucas. good, good. Uh, creates the turnover there, moves the ball forward, and then just takes it right to the rack. Backs him down, steps over. Goalie for Cacalico, Grant Lockhart, in his senior year, racking up the saves last year and this year. He's gonna work it up with a shorty. Nice job bringing that all the way up. That's a number we don't see a ton. No. Bell nap, shot score! Oh, Puts the Eagles in front. Hey, got to give credit. That was Brady Gallagher. Yeah, number 73, a freshman. Worked it down for the Eagles, and then Belknap, the senior, puts it home. That's his first of the game. I think we're typically used to seeing him later in games, and now he's been called upon to step up in a district game, and that's what you play the whole season for, well, and to he's get ready. He's one of your leaders, so you need him to step up here for Cacalico. Uh, Quarterfinal matchup, you're the number one seed. You and your coaching staff, your teammates, expect you to come out of here and score some lots of goals and come away with a win. So yep. he's got to really be a big force here today. He is so smooth you know, and calm. He fires away. Long range missile from Cole yep. Barnes yeah. finds that the in. net. That went in. No, they're saying no. That, well, that ball went in the goal. OK. OK. <laughs> uh, he just wanted to get a little screen time there, I think. Well, the, re it. the referee had his finger up doing, you know, the the circle <laughs> saying that it was a change of possession, but I <laughs> it looked like it really caught the corner of the cotton here. Oh. From our vantage well, point, I kinda it, it looked like yeah, it went in. I do understand why he wasn't quite sure about it, but I did think that the, uh, the strings... It did uh, roll down the side of the inside corner very lightly. So I understand the referee's confusion there. Part of their strategy is to try to jam Barnes a little bit at the face-off dot. And what we're starting to see is like you have to sacrifice the fact that sometimes... Oh, that's fake. That was Renaud from that behind. Uh, so we've seen him go both ways from X. The first time he went from X, he went to his left and shoveled it with his right. This time he went to his right hand and then tucked it back over his shoulder both times, just kind of lightly turning his shoulder to the goal. Watch that fake Boom. high, a little bit Gets low. Gets him the bite, low and away. Wow, that's, uh, that's, some top level, that's some top level <laughs> stuff right there. We're not a sophomore for this squad, so maybe getting a window into what he can do here in the future. Really, really strong player. Yeah. Belknap's another one who's very comfortable with the ball on his stick. Well, you can yeah. see the long stick there whacking him on either side, and he just takes it. Little shot inside. Almost looked effortless yep. for Zach Belknap, but he puts it home. Coming downhill with that jump shot. That was impressive. Took all that contact and just kept attacking net and eventually found the opening, as I'm sure he's done plenty of times this year. He carried that all the way across the offense and then went down on the outside and was just able to like tuck that in. Yeah, he took a shot right as he hit, as he shot that too, you know, from mm -hmm. the defender, so yeah, yeah. well done. Yunt with it. 
A lot of Hershey jerseys in the way. He'll shoot it anyway. Evan Yunt from downtown liking it. So is the crowd. It's 6-1 Kukalico here in the first quarter. Uh, he's out there. Yeah, that was one of those long ones. Change the strategy up a little bit. But again, what he does is he finds the back side of the pipe there. Or back side of the goal, I should say. He looks for that far side away from the goalie. And he just tags that back side, just the inside the back side pipe. Nice. So that is the fourth different goal scorer for Kukalico here early on. Kukalico back in action since that. This is their first game facing the Hershey Trojans who advanced as the eighth seed. They hosted on Tuesday. And a nice save, save by Grant Lockhart. Here's the save from Grant Lockhart. Again, in and out of his stick, a nice job mm. by him. Who was that? Belknap. That was Belknap. Wow. Looked like a hip check. So maybe he does play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then little, he went in and finished it. A little bit of <laughs> ice skating as well yeah. there as he does a pirouette goal. Zach Belknap puts his third one home today. And I didn't do the actual pirouette, just a nice little jump in uh, the air. He tiptoed on top of the crease there and was able to get that ball right in the back of the net. He does have plenty of moves. Nope. Back to forward. Here he goes. Barnes charging in. Shoot yep. score! Cole Barnes makes quick work. When he wins it, he's taking it in, and, and chances are he's shooting it. And he adds another one for the Kakalago Eagles. And he wins it forward, takes it through the first pole, and dagger. Yeah, it wow. is. Wow, that's a tricky little maneuver there. Uh, that's something you learn at camps. And a Ooh. nice shot there. Well, that's a good shot. From the Trojans. I believe it was Lucas the one that scored the first goal? Yes, Lucas in was. Transition. Yep. He scored again there. Yeah, he had a nice <laughs> shot there. The first one we saw him kind of working it towards Cage and finishing inside. That one we see him wind up and take a shot from outside. Solid player. Second goal for Hershey and for Lucas. Young player, too. I, th I think he's a sophomore. Here's an attack. Go behind. Swing it around to Grace. Ooh, and a cut. Wow. Right in and there front was Lucas to Lucas. Again. Well, that's a hat trick already for him. He's keeping uh, Hershey in, di in closing distance. I but fed that Grace. Ryan Grace. Yeah, yeah 18. Here. Yeah, he, and, and he just kind of holds the ball for a little bit unthreatening and I mean Grace was the one that actually dodged to the cage if you remember um, like a couple of minutes ago actually mm -hmm. like he's the one that actually took the ball right into the cage from that low side well and the the Hershey poles just keep taking the ball back down into the corner and they're giving free possessions to Kokalico's offense and they're too talented to be able to do that. Like, the Kokalico's offense is just way too talented you see Nash just bring it right back over Boy, he Into the wound middle. up. He did, and nobody slid to him. I mean, <laughs> no. wide open just shot. Just went there. right down Mississippi. Just looking for somebody. It was a high pass. Yunt, why not? Gloves, though. Oh, big Nicely. Save. Right, Cohen. Oh, he picked it off. Yunt inside, two options, and you have to score that, and Bryce Nash does. And again, we talked about uh, a lot about Yunt's range, too. In, in other games, I think maybe we would have seen him line up and take a shot, but he moves the ball forward, sees two guys wide open low, hits Nash, and Nash, fake, fake, fake shot. Great quickness, and he is giving some fits to these defenders behind net. And he, he utilizes that rocker step so well. Yunt lights it up. Boy, how far out he's, is that? I mean, he's he, out there. Yeah. He's probably close to about 12, 13. Yeah. He really is effective, and if not, it just misses, but it goes still possession to Kakalico too, mm -hmm. so he does have a lot of confidence in that. That is number two for Yunt today. Look at that laser. So Yunt has two, Nash has two, Barnes has two, Belknap has three, Renaud has two. Ooh, that was a pretty high check from Nash. Here's Lucas falling down. Did he put that in? He did. Wow. That's a really good pick. He's good. Man, and he's taking a beating goal. today, too. I think they're checking on him. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure he's I, all right. I would, too. 
This goal right. is sick, this, oh my goodness. Some guys just have that ability to finish. You know, that it just slows down for them as they get to the cage. He did look like he was hurting after that, though. Yeah, he got up very slowly. And, uh, you know, he's going to be feeling it tomorrow for sure. Owen. Something I really like about Cohen is his stance. You don't see a whole lot of goalies take that real wide stance, and he just seems comfortable. Oh. Well, a nice attack there. Coast to coast and a goal. Yeah, from Hershey, able to beat Lockhart as they quickly advanced it down. Hershey goal. Well, that was Ryan Grace that was able to get it, and that was from pretty far out, too. I'm sure Lockhart's probably a little upset at himself. Yeah, I mean, he gets his hands back, gets them away, and then just takes a really nice overhand shot, high, low. It's tough for a goalie to stop. Got to give a lot of credit to this Hershey team. They're not really, they're not packing it in. Like, their guys aren't content to just let it be. They're still firing and trying to play. Yeah, long range oh. shot. It skips past Lockhart. Oh, that don't. was a long stick shot there. I don't think he was ready for it. I don't really think he thought he was going to shoot. <laughs> the goalie was in, but not when he was out. Exactly, yeah. Tough. Yeah, you can hit one from long range when he's yeah, standing between exactly. the pipes. But <laughs> wide open. Talk about Ooh. wide open. There's Lucas on the backside. Another goal for him. That's great passing from Hershey. Yeah. They made sure to connect on that passing. Lucas's fifth goal of the game. Not much Lockhart can do. Defender had to pick. Obviously went with the oh, yeah. player with the ball. Lucas benefits from that. None of those guys are seniors. So you can see a little bit of the talent here for the Trojans heading into next year. And Cole Barnes puts another one home off the faceoff. That might be the third or fourth one he's done here today, I yeah. think. He's enjoying it. I mean, again, he just pushes the ball forward, picks it up, runs it straight down the gullet, and just fires away. So that's five goals today for Barnes. He matches Lucas as uh, the game high scorer so far. And it doesn't actually hurt your, you know, your record, your power rating, or anything at the end of the season. Yeah, it's a great point. Here's Yunt. Boy, he just ripped that one. So he he, he, he literally heard what we said <laughs> about a wide open goal and missed it. But there, the goalie is standing right in his face, and he just sizzles it by him. Up under the armpit, far side it looked like. Yeah, I mean, he tucked that into such a small space. There's Hits, the faceoff guy. He gets a lot of contact for his actions. Lucas has some room. Oh, and he smokes that home. Boy, is that his sixth? He is so good. Yes, that is oh his sixth goal. Oh, my goodness. He has six of the eight goals here for them tonight. That was deflected nicely by the defense. Saved. Gets has it. Finds an open teammate. It is Martin. Another nice pass. Boy, that was nice. <laughs> is that, is that Nash again it? with the moves? It was hard to see from our vantage point, but it was a lot of nice passing from the Eagles. And it was Bryce Nash. Here it is. Yeah, <laughs> a little tomahawk chop. Final six seconds to go here, Wayne. What a contest. What a win for the Eagles. They'll be celebrating here in Denver the rest of the week. That shot is wide. And there's your horn. Quality win in the district playoffs again for the Eagles. They take it 19 to nine. The number one seed is moving on to the semifinals, Wayne. And with that, it's back-to-back -back years in the district semis, and it is back-to-back -back years into the state playoffs. 19 to nine victory here.